Hi, what is up guys? It's Jared Campisi with my good buddy Dotto and Big Titty Teens. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a very exciting episode because we only have two install videos left for our full carbon Yamaha R1M build. Don't forget, for the month of August only, you can be entered to win our full carbon R1M and Christina's M1000RR, patreon.com slash Customs. It's always the first link in the description below. Let's get this video started. All right, Christina Khalil, the Big Titty Teens, BTT. BTT, is gonna do the unboxing for us. So today is actually a really cool part, super trick, and it's gonna be replacing this entire setup back here. So it's a integrated uh, rear brake master and reservoir that um, is gonna look a lot better and it's gonna help give the rear brakes more brake feel. So do you wanna pull this puppy out? This very exciting, crazy piece. <laughs> Look at this. How cheap is that? <laughs> Look at this. So it's a, Ooh. what's the company? Is it Gale Speed? Yeah, yeah. Gale Speed. Um, they make racing parts. They're out of, I believe, Japan, actually. Made in Japan. Yeah, made in Japan. So um, that is the new rear brake master, which is going to give you the rear brake, like I said, more feel. Should give it a little bit more um, braking power as well. And Dotto said, too, it would help them f fail less and everything like that. And then that is the new reservoir. Look how cool that is. And the cool thing about this reservoir is unlike standard uh, rear brake master to reservoir, and you have this hosing, which is super annoying looking and just cheap, this reservoir actually connects right to the rear brake master. This piece is going to pull out, and this reservoir is going to go in. Do you want to show them roughly, Dotto, how that's going to look? Nobody likes to pull out. Nobody likes to pull out. So <laughs> this uh, master is actually designed to sit. You can... Uh, mount it in different angles, and it comes with different adapters. I do the same thing. Based on where it's, <laughs> based on where it's supposed to be. Uh -huh. A couple of things that I wanted to mention is one, when UV hits here, it's yeah. going to break down your uh, fluid, fluid a lot faster, mm -hmm. and also these rubber components, they will also crack, break down, and get brittle and soft. Mm -hmm. Where with this. Uh, unit and th this you can use you can see it's set up to use with a hose mm -hmm. or if you buy this additional unit this we do like hose yeah and it and, and just this area code and then we'll <laughs> we'll take this piece out here and then this comes with an o-ring that that attaches this so Look at that. and this this eliminate you just got this little window here um and this eliminates the the uv damage yep. and also any components between here and here that might deteriorate over time. That's so cool. So it's a completely sealed CNC unit. I think it's like 600 some dollars. 600 dollars for yeah. this, yeah. Just for a rear reservoir. Um, there's a little that. bit. Did you get that? I got it. Did you get it? <laughs> Understand? We're good? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Thank you, teens. Yeah. And then there is a little warning. I read the instructions before. Oh yeah, it's a good point. Um, there is a clearance has to be the the threads sticking out past the banjo have to be less than 8.5 8, millimeters. 8.5 millimeters, and we'll, we are below that. Okay. So what I'd like to do is, when we dive into all this, I'd like to swap everything as soon as possible so, so we don't lose. We, we are going to have to bleed a little bit yeah. so we don't lose any pressure or get air in the system. So Okay, let's do it. So look at this. Teener Wieners laid everything out. That's going to be replacing our rear master and reservoir. And she's heading to tractor supply. What? Get yeah. some animal food. Yeah, I got. That's I got what she a lot does. Of to She's got to spend her thousand uh, dollars a month on feeding animals. <laughs> but hey, you know what? There could but be worse. Happy, th you know? There could be worse things. Yes. Okay. Good luck. Bye. We'll be here. <laughs> we'll be here wrenching. Well, Bye. Dado will be. Bye. I'll be filming Dado wrenching. Dado did some special work for a local brewery, and uh, it has to do with his smoking kits. Yeah. Look at the size of this beer they gave him. So it's a Nutella Imperial Stout. Holy. 40%. Oh my. Well, this is going to be put on backwards. <laughs> Look at the color of this. It's used motor oil. Yeah, I was like, it what, are you, what do you have us drinking? Like a dessert. Cheers, buddy. It's one of the final install episodes. Let's take, this. take a little sip. Holy sh... That's like drinking dessert. It is. It's so potent with the taste. That's a it. lot of flavor. All right, we're going to smoke this. So don't forget, you can get some cool ass smoking kits, uh, cigar boxes, all kinds of cool trinkets. Uh, based around man shit, but obviously women can use it too. Um, <laughs> DottoMadeShop.com. It's always linked in the description below. Support your boy. And I wanted to let you know, uh, my site's going to be down a little bit. I'm adding a product on there, so stay tuned. Nice. If you guys haven't already, I did open up a Instagram business specific page, so I didn't flood my DottoMade motorcycle related stuff. So go over there and follow me. I have it's DottoMade uh, Shop. 
it's linked. They in can my, find it from your regular uh, Instagram. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, I added a whole bunch of stuff on the already finished products. Like I already populated the page with a whole bunch of pictures. You can see nice. the stuff that I'm capable of doing. And there's new stuff coming too for all you whiskey and beer fans. I know what it is. So yeah, yeah I'm excited. Actually, I'm really excited for the next product. So this is Nutella Imperial Stout <laughs> and we are smoking it. So never had this smoke with before. With what, oak? Wow, look at that. Look at that. All right, let's see what happens. All right, we let it smoke for a little bit. Now we take it off. Dude, this is gonna be, you can see like the, oh, look at that, like the <laughs> grain is in there. Uh -huh. All right, now we're gonna try it and see how it is. This is exciting. I know, it is exciting. This is stuff we get excited about. Oh, Here we go. That. Whoa, holy shit, it smells like campfire. Here we go. <laughs> 100% better. It reminds me of like s'more. Yeah, it does. Like it almost tastes like a like a s'more. Yeah, oh, like man. a dessert, but smoked. Yeah, this this episode's canceled. <laughs> we gotta go hang out and drink. First things first. I noticed that on this um, unit where the master has a pin going through it, you have to like take this little cotter pin out and everything. Like, look at this design here, right? Yeah. So to take this pin out of here, all you have to do is unhook it, swing it. And it pulls right out. That's insane. And then when you got to put it back in, it just clips into place. That's so cool. So that's awesome. Yeah. Also, this adjustment here is pretty freaking cool. It's super easy. You just spin this, and then you tighten this down to it. Now, there is a spring here. First thing we're going to do is swap the spring out. So they have this heavier spring, and what that does is, is it pushes this piston back out, and it's a lot harder, and it does give you more feedback. So a lot of track guys will use a heavier uh, piston spring on there. Um, it's kind of like a little suspension spring. So I'm gonna take this off and you can see the difference in thickness. Yeah. So this one's stiffer, because uh, why not? Uh, <laughs> That's we're not, like. we're not really not gonna be tracking this, but. Uh, the new owner might, and technically it is built for yep, a track. We're gonna include the little spring back yeah. so they can swap it back. Yeah. Check that, how cool that looks. That is badass. I wish it was it. blue, but it's gonna be hidden anyway. Yeah, come on, Manny. Where's our anodized blue <laughs> suspension spring for our master? So look yeah. at that. Sick. And then this part will go back on there, obviously. Now, um, we do have the pedal here very close. We're out of adjustment on, this, on a stock, stock setup. setup yeah. See how long that threaded piece is on this one? That'll give us more adjustment. So we want a tiny little bit of play, because mm -hmm. you don't, under heat and expansion and contraction, you don't want that piston to, to, to seize the brakes on right. even a little bit. So they're dragging. You want to have yeah. a tiny little bit of play, yeah. And then we also want it to get away from this bracket. Yeah. So once we put this on, we'll adjust that. So okay. spring's done, kind of just loosely put this on there like that. Um, and then we have to remove uh, that uh, retainer ring there that... Yeah, I see that. Yep, yep. we got to take that out, take this piece out. And then there's an O-ring that goes on this surface. That goes right in there. And then we have a bolt that holds everything together. Okay. So let's assemble this whole piece. We'll talk about the bracket options here. Okay. So I'm gonna be using this snap ring plier set. That's so crazy. So this There's specialty one, tools for everything. There is, so cool thing with these is it comes with different heads. And, oops. <laughs> um, this one here, you just press this. This gets swapped out like that. You can take the whole head off like that. So what, like how far open? Is that what it changes? Uh, how far it opens? So see how this one's straight? Uh huh. This one's bent at 45, this oh, one's 90 degrees. Oh, okay. So, I don't know how, I don't want to damage this. Okay. Let's see if I can get this out. Now, typically, I'd like to wear safety goggles when doing this, but didn't do it there. So okay, that guy's out. easier, that makes everything. And then this. You cut the whole thing out? Yep, yeah, just like that. And Man, the new reservoir will just, what, sit right in there? really dry. Yeah, so the new reservoir has an O-ring that fits around the outside. The rubber one And I it's saw. also going to seal along here. Okay. I'm not sure, there's no instructions that I saw. I might have to reread them, but I think this O-ring stays. We're gonna check. Okay. All right. So the instructions here clearly show if you're using this hose nipple uh, to use the big O-ring. If you're using the reservoir tank, use the bolt to fasten it, and use the small O-ring. So so funny. We are taking the O-ring out of here. You got to make sure you don't scratch anything up. So this O-ring has to come out. That's a big guy there. And then they That's important. They, su oh, they supplied the little one. That's so funny compared to, to the direction. To fit this in there, right? Yeah. I thought that they were going to have us 
putting this around here, uh -huh. but apparently it sits on the face. Okay. So you, you get rubber to the face. Rubber to the face. I do baby. like to lube these uh -huh. um, prior. Um, With what? Don't don't. Uh, the elbow don't grease. Don't judge me. I don't I don't use brake fluid. But I do shoot it with a little bit of WD-40 because it is thinner. I don't like using motor oil or whatever. So all of you master techs that pay to go to school and school other backyard mechanics, you can tell me why WD-40 is bad. It works really great on your hands. <laughs> um, we're going to put this guy in here. Never failed me, ever. Yeah. Make sure that that's seated in there the whole way. Stay in there, buddy. All right, you just press that bad boy in there. Seated the, um, what's it called? O-ring as well? Yeah, the O-ring. He's putting a little bit of Loctite on it. Just that. a little bit of Loctite. It doesn't really call for it, but I do not want this to vibrate out. We've learned from Geppetto. Yeah, Geppetto, <laughs> man. We learned he so knows, from right? So this is going to get tightened in here. Uh, 0.4 sausage foot-pounds. Mm -hmm. Look at oh. that. That's I love this so spring. Sick. Right? I do too. So we got adjustment yet to go. And then what I'd like to do here is um, bench bleed it. I'm going to fill this up here. We're going to pump the air out of here as much as possible. Uh -huh. Have the fluid sitting at the top of this. Ready to go. So when we throw the banjo on, we There's lose minimal air. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So we're going to do that. So we got the adjustment yet. Tighten this. Undo the cap. And then um, oh, also the brackets. Yes. So they mention here. Where did I see that? Um, all right, so for the adapters, it tells you that if you put uh, this adapter uh, at 90 degree facing down, it gives you 49 millimeter distance center to center. The same adapter flipped gives you 40 millimeters, and then you have a straight adapter for 45, and then you have this other longer reach one for 49 um, millimeters here. And then uh, I think the mounting hole ends up being at a different place. So all these different configurations, I'm assuming are for different motorcycles, so you can mm -hmm. use this for different mm -hmm. bikes. We have to figure out where ours is. Easy way to do that is to take the old one off, hold the new one next to, to it, it, and figure it out. So that's gonna be the easy part. All right, so I was telling Jarrett there's this sweet design, and I explained to him how it works, and it works really well. So the fluid goes in here, then you have a cap, and then you have this rubber piece, and a lot of people don't understand what it does. So this piece sits inside this reservoir just like that and it seals it there. So this is a closed system. So what happens when that fluid starts going down, taking up that slack for your brake pad being worn down, right? So as that fluid goes down, even when you're pumping your brakes, when that fluid goes down or you know the vacuum pulls that fluid down, it also pulls this down. So this simple little uh, gasket um, will take up the slack. It'll push down and take up the slack of that fluid. That's so cool. So you don't have air between your fluid and your seal. And that causes this area to be filled with rubber instead of air. And then all the moisture ends up in this little cavity. So here's a cool thing, right? So typically, for people like myself who service brakes a lot, I'll open up the cap and up on top here, you'll see either water yeah, or, like, that. or like little moisture, moisture bubbles. Check yeah. this out. So at the top of the lid, hold on. they have a they have this there it is, yep. this little machine piece that comes out, right? So if you get equal temperature and pressure between outside and inside of the top of the cylinder, it'll actually dry that wow. uh, water on top of there out. So usually I'll open up the master. Now this is fancy, but yeah. there's other, you know, the plastic ones have it too. I'll clean out this, make it dry, put it back up, fill up the rest. And that's why they have you filling it up to a certain spot here because you, they actually want you to have they don't want it to be overfilled. You actually want the top of this to sit where the fluid line is. That's so cool. So yeah, a little bit of, uh, people always ask me like, can you explain the stupid rubber thing or, you know, question? So that's exactly how that works. This one's just really nice and primo. And, it, and uh, Jared said it's like military grade. And the funny thing is like, if you know anything about military grade, it's like probably like- <laughs> Not that good. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, it's the worst. <laughs> but, uh, this is very nicely yeah. machined, very precise. Super and uh, cool. things fit so nice and tight uh -huh. and snug, so. Now you're supposed to do this in a vise so you don't spill stuff all over and get it in your eyes, but... I can hear it. I, yeah, I pumped this Sucking out. Sucking in there. As my, <laughs> I, I pumped it out as much as I could. Sorry, I can't. I gotta take this little guy out here. Where the banjo there goes. We go. now, you gotta be careful not to... You don't wanna be peeking in here and then it shoots fluid all over the place. And this is at a really weird spot, so... I'm gonna fill both of these just to get all the air out. We'll put the cap back on. 
I'm gonna have to bleed the whole system yeah. anyways. So we have this um, same stuff we fill. Bell Ray, yeah. yeah, it's what the dealer typically yeah. recommends. Is there better stuff out there? Of course. All you race guys are gonna be like, ah, oh, that's junk. I will say the brakes on this bike feel better than any other bike I've mm -hmm. ever felt. And this is just gonna be the icing on the cake right here. So I'm gonna I overfill that just by hair. So I'm gonna just put that cap in there a little bit. And we're gonna put this back on. Look at the look at the little bubbles coming uh -huh. out, right? Let's see if it'll shoot this up. See it? Yep. Oop. All right, now it wants to shoot okay, out. Now we're I'm here. gonna put the cap back on, and then we're gonna start reassembling some of the components. All right, so next step is taking apart the entire rear set that we just did. Would have been nice to have this piece, huh? When we did the rear set, that would have been. That would have been really nice, <laughs> but that wasn't his fault. That it's actually just arrived last Friday, so um, the, the times of not having parts are still upon us. So we're not out of the woods yet. So yeah, we're gonna take this whole thing apart and then reassemble it. All right, now that he got the whole entire rear set broken loose again, he's transferring over the banjo bolt and the brake line. We're putting new crush washers on there. Yep. So basically, you want to be very careful not to disturb any of the fluid in there and then make sure that goes on there actually that one i think is different thread we're gonna no. need to yeah we're gonna need to put a new uh Band, a new bolt i already got a new one yeah we tested one that we I knew did worked. so this one's a little different yeah it came with a different set of brakes well it came with the lines they gave us a ton of different banjo bolts does yes. that one go in yep All it right. goes in perfectly i'm gonna get it i thought those other threads looked a little bigger it's tough seeing it with the naked eye. Yeah. But okay. <laughs> so we still have a switch Shit attached. <laughs> yeah, I okay. look. So we still have a switch attached. I'm gonna take that out really quick. Yeah. So you wanna hold this? Oh me? No, hold this wait. top one right hold here. Hold the top so one. So it doesn't scratch anything up. Okay. Yeah. And then this I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to use pliers to, Oh I forgot about that thing. Yeah, the little spring. Okay. So I just did a test uh, fitting? Test fit and it's the little guy. And it goes in this configuration here. Uh, I don't know how many millimeters it is. I didn't look at the instructions, but that the holes line up, so we're gonna give her a go. I also just kind of gave this like a quick mount to see where it would sit. I think we actually need to go in just a little bit more. Um, there is a lot of adjustment, <laughs> but uh, we gotta go in just a tiny little bit. So I'm just gonna turn that in one or two turns. All right, so this pin goes through like that. That's such in. a cool setup. And then we can attach this up here. Now, yeah. we won't know where this lever actually sits. Until it's on. Yeah, and I have a feeling that we're getting close to being bottomed out. And from the get-go, it was a little tight. But uh, we're going to give it a whirl. I'm going to mount this. Okay. So one thing we noticed is our rear master cylinder is actually at 45 degrees instead of straight. Um, the kit that we received has a 90 degree uh reservoir. reservoir and we need the 45 degree so 45 degree will allow this configuration but the reservoir is actually going to be horizontal that's not going to be a problem until the fluid level goes down so we're going to install this and bleed the brakes and then if we can get the new piece and we get the 90 degree or actually 45 degree one then we'll just pop this off and throw the new one on we should not have to bleed this as long as we don't get any air in here so um, we'll make sure we get that before we yeah, get the bike. I away. think the only thing we'll have to take off is this heel guard. Yeah. So, to but I'm this. I'm gonna tighten this down. Seems like everything's gonna work there. It looks um, phenomenal. The adjustment's really close as well here. We yeah. didn't we didn't have too much to to adjust. Um, and then we're gonna put all the bolts on and bleed everything and see how it works. All right. So everything is installed. It looks phenomenal. Um, I, again, I'm gonna talk to Manny about getting the 90 degree version of this so it sits this way, but. The way that it is now, we just want to test it real quick. Make sure the rear brake light is working the switch. Yep, and we have some play in it before, yeah, that uh, even engages along with actually this too. So you want to, <laughs> yeah, that's. If you ride it and we decide that, yeah. hey, we need to bleed it a little yeah. bit. Because I filled the reservoir and the master and when I took this line out, I swapped it out fast enough. Yep. I think we got literally the minimum minimal amount of, you know, there's not a lot of air in there. It if feels you put better. It on dry, it's like all yeah, it feels game. better than it did before. Yeah, honestly, well, this is gonna especially with that heavy spring in there. <laughs> yeah, and it'll take less effort to apply more pressure. 
that, right. that makes sense. Okay. And then if we need to bleed it, I'll yeah. just bleed the rear at a later time. So. You always got to try stuff out to see how it feels. Um, but so far, I was telling him, because I've been riding it a little bit, it only has 500 miles. It hasn't even hit the braking miles. So what yet. we'll do is if we need to fill this up, I'll pull a wheelie and take this cap off. While, While you're I'm wheeling filling, it, I'll fill it yeah. out of the car, so, hanging see, out the side is, of the car. That's perfect. That's perfect. But honestly, look at how incredible that looks. That was the last eyesore on the bike, in my opinion. I thought about having Dado take a Sawzall to this, <laughs> but um, we'll leave it just in case. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's about it. We'll get it off the thing here. We'll wheel it outside and see how it looks. All right, Tiener Wieners has arrived. Look how badass that SUV looks. I love that thing. Out and he goes, I just realized how big those tires are. Those must be expensive tires. <laughs> they are. They're like twenty seven hundred dollars. Like, well, I'm telling you about cars. Get a truck. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I get twice as much feed. Did you see it, teens? You didn't even look at oh, it. No, I did not look at it. You just got on the bike. Got... I'm out of here. <laughs> look at that bitch. Let me see. Look oh at that wow. Right there. Cleaned up that whole area. What a difference that plastic piece. Yep. Looks oh, incredible. That looks so clean. How was it? Difficult? Yeah, it was. I mean, it wasn't too bad, honestly. Dado, Dado figured out. You just got to take your time. The sun is in the worst really possible nice. spot right now. Beautiful. But yeah, we got one install video left. That's crazy. How crazy is that? We'll do the crash protection. We'll do the um, control stuff. And then we're done. So don't forget, guys. Patreon.com slash customs. If you want to be entered to win the um, Yamaha R1M for the month of August only, you can win Christina's uh, well, be entered to win Christina's BMW M1000 RR as well. Dado, thank you for your hard work, brother, as always. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, we're gonna, gonna be done with this puppy soon. And I'm um, you know a little bit sad, but. Winter's almost here. You we'll go to Miami. We're gonna go to Miami and hang out with Manny down there. We're gonna give away snowmobiles. Snowmobiles. <laughs> snowmobiles. So we're gonna do snowmobiles and snowblowers. I can't get out of, I can't get my shadow out of it but yeah there you go guys so if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe for more and we'll see you all in the next one peace Bye.